Hello YouTubes, and welcome back to another Let's Play with me, Blue Ankylo. We are going back to what started it all with me on my channel, Wing Commander, the secret missions this time. So it's uh, kind of like an expansion, except more like a separate game the way it came out back in the day. I uh, didn't plan it near as, I didn't play it near as much as the original, so this might be a little bit more challenging for me. The Vega Sector has fallen. This comes after we finish the first one. World after world is freed as the Kilrathi Empire flees the Confederation fleet in a dead run for the safety of their homeworlds. The Imperial forces abandon all of their enslaved planets. Yeah! Kick those cats out of town. But one. All but one, that is. Da -da -da -da. Still got awesome music for the Super Nintendo. It's good times, good times. Warhammer 12. Different genre, but... <laughs> Weapons development planet of the Kilrathi Empire. <laughs> it is done, my admiral. The Graviton weapon is completed. Excellent. Our fleet has brought us just enough time. Now the tide will turn. Unless you have a better cat voice, I don't know. <laughs> Shall the Goodard Colony be the first test site? You are standing on the first test site, Commander. A world under our control? The Emperor will not allow it. Leave that to me. We must remove all evidence of our work here. How better than with the weapon we have developed? Think of it. A small explosion, and then, for a few moments, the total gravitational field of the planet increases 137 fold. Nothing will remain. We have received word, my Admiral. The Terran fleet is approaching. Let them come. Let them come. They will find nothing here. But at Goddard, we will provide a welcome they shall not soon forget. Ha <laughs> indeed! Nah, excellent. <laughs> That'll teach those Terrans. I mean, uh, oops. <laughs> anyway, yes, yeah, so obviously the Kelrathi are pretty bad. So, anyway, we got through the little intro there. Hopefully, uh, if you want to remember what happened in the first Wing Commander, back then the Kilrathi were sort of winning and we, uh, us on the Tiger Claw, we uh, kicked their butt, destroyed their starbase and uh, turned the war backwards. So uh, now the Terrans are winning obviously and the uh, Kilrathi are up to trouble. We're going to play on Ace of course because uh, we're no rookies. And if I remember correctly this game is a bit harder than uh, the original so there's that. There's also no branching storyline like the first one. The first one had kind of a tree structure where you could go to different uh, sectors depending on how well you did your missions. On this one it's a little bit more straightforward but that's okay. So let's get to it. Let's get on with it. Ah and yes the uh, handle. We're gonna go with blue again which is always the way I name my guys, nearly. Um, yeah, it should be fine. All right. So yeah, uh, in all in all, this game is very similar to the first one, same system and everything. Um, but uh, I think there's a few changes with the combat, just a smidgen, and uh, we'll see how that goes as we get to it. Unfortunately, our, uh, <laughs> our kills have been reset, so instead of having whatever 150 billion we had the last time, <laughs> we're back down to zero, unfortunately. But it's the same crew, so you'll get to meet some old friends, and uh, that's kind of cool. We're back down to second lieutenant, we've been demoted as well, boo, but uh, that's how it goes. So yeah, I'll be as usual talking to everybody and doing a mission. <laughs> so, shot glass, our old pal, the bartender, the barkeep. Well, hiya, blue! Things are happening around here. We've been making a lot of jumps. A lot of jumps. You don't have to be an active duty pilot to realize that something unusual is happening. Keep your ears open and let me know what you hear, okay? So yeah, he's our buddy. He'll give us some uh, tips on what's going on. We got Iceman and Bossman. Yeah, these guys are pretty. These are the guys from the top, right? Yeah, these are the upper class pilots, yeah. <laughs> All right, Iceman. 
strange things going on. I was on the bridge a few hours ago. Tiger's Claw received a coded transmission from High Command. The Colonel read it and ordered non-essentials off the bridge. Since then, we've been jumping like crazy. We'll know what that's happening soon enough, Vice Man. True. Very true. I have to work on my voices a little bit more. Get used to all these different dudes. We got Boss Man bossing us around. Blue! Join us! I was just thinking about a story I'd heard. About the Guinevar. Guinevar? Yeah, Guinevar. A Venture class ship that disappeared a few years ago. You don't really believe that old fairy tale, do you? I don't think it's a fairy tale, Ice. I've never heard the Oh, me? I got a voice now! I've never heard this story before, boss man. What happened to the Guinevar? Yeah, that's new. <laughs> Supposedly the... No, it's not new. Never mind that. Don't listen to me. Supposedly the Kilrathi captured an intact dry dock. In dry dock. With all sorts of it fighter complement and some of the crew. And they've used it to deceive and destroy other Federation ships. No one who's encountered the Guinevar has survived to tell the tale. I'll believe it when I see it. So anyway, if you missed that, because I was forgetting. <laughs> uh, yeah, your, your character does talk. Of course he does. Yeah, the uh, Guinevar, the Kilrathi, captured it and uh, have been using that to uh, take out uh, allies. So anyway, let's continue on. There's no uh, in-between room this time. There's no locker room, so you have to just get on with it. Mission briefing, 0800 2656.289. Quiet, everyone. We have a lot of ground to cover. As you may have noticed, the Tiger's Claw has made several jumps today. Because we've been temporarily ordered out of Vega Sector. Several hours ago, we received, we received an emergency communication from the Goddard Colony in the Deneb Sector. A Karathi fleet has attacked the colony using some kind of new weapon. Unfortunately, we've lost communications with the colony. Now we're preparing to jump to Goddard. Sir! Does this mean we don't know what kind of mess we're jumping into? Right. We don't know the full extent of the Karathi fleet. And we don't know what's happened to the Goloid colony. For now, no one is to talk about this to the crew. However, we won't be alone, as we're scheduled to take make a rendezvous with the Hitcock. Hitcock? Hitcock. She's a diligent class sport, loaded with emergency relief supplies from the colony. Also, we're rendez we'll, we rendezvous with the Marciano, a Venture Class Corvette. Mission assignments. Alpha Wing will patrol in Hornets. We need you something or other. You'll launch immediately when we appear in the Goddard system. <laughs> it just clicked too quick. If there are any cats in our vicinity, eliminate them. Yeah. Then I want you to go to Nav 1 and scout for any other Kilrathi activity. Afterwards, proceed to Nav 2, where the Kickoff is preparing to jump to Goddard and provide support for her if the Kilrathi attack. Once she's jumped, go to Nav 3, where you'll meet the Marciano. Escort the Corvette back to Claw, eliminating any threats. Blue, your wing leader, with Hunter as your wingman. The Colonel moves to the other's wing and squad assignments. Your attention snaps back to him as he concludes. That's all, ladies and gentlemen. Prepare for launch. All right, so we got some new uh, launch <laughs> cutscenes here too. Seems like we're getting all the hard stuff in this one. <laughs> all the stuff he was talking about comes to us in our stupid little hornet. <laughs> it is the weakest ship you get to fly, of course, as far as shields and stuff go, armor. And if I remember correctly, this one's, uh, we don't start off with a nice, boring patrol route like you start off with in the first wing commander. <laughs> no. All right, so if you're new to the series, uh, let's see, what do I need to explain here quick? Uh, for, well, this, this ship only has one gun, the laser bolt. Nothing much I can do with that. Um, you can change your maximum and uh, speed. Maximum speed uh, sort of falls from 0 to 420. 420 is pretty quick uh, as far as enemies go, so no problems there. Um, this, right above the uh, joystick you can see kind of our radar. It's not great. It's a little bit hard to follow. Just, you know, you'll get the hang of it eventually. Blue is allies. White is either our uh, target destination or uh, capital ship, like the Tiger's Claw back there. Um, on the right screen is your uh, communication nav and battle targeter. Right now it's on you know, your navigation. We can cycle through to targeting for enemies and communications with either allies or um, Tiger's Claw. Now, apparently we're already finding some enemies, so we got some selfie. And they're a long way away, but uh, we'll get to it. We should be okay. Let's learn how combat works. 
target on. Yeah, let's do this. This is the closest one. It tends to target the closest selfie, and if you're lucky, that'll be the first one to attack you. Uh, I should probably have... Uh... Oh yeah, they've changed a couple things right, I remember now. Um, in the first game, you had to command your wingman to attack, if that's what you wanted them to do, or stay on your wing and stuff. I believe in this one, you don't have to do that. They just automatically fly out and do their own thing. So you lose a little bit of control, but... Uh... Yeah. Alright, there we go. This guy decides to engage. And we rammed him! Ramming speed right off the bat! Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, there'll be a lot of that in the future, don't you worry. Um, okay, uh, that's not the right one. Not doing super good to start. Def definitely not doing super good. You can actually see in the background there's a large ship somewhere, but this guy's like ramming into me or something, so we're not doing terribly good. Our uh, front armor is gone, and our shields are... Um, this, is, this is really not good. I'm going to die right at the beginning here. Um, I don't know what the deal was with that guy ramming into me, or maybe it was Hunter, but for whatever reason... Um, shoot. Hunter! Curse you! Kill Stealer. Totally had him. What the heck is hitting me so bad? Wow. All right. There we go. There we finally get our first shot in. Wow. Okay, it's been a while since I've played, so maybe that's the point. Maybe that's the point. Come on. Come on, buddy. Um, well, we won. Um, we might not survive the mission, but... Uh, I think maybe the problem is that Hunter keeps getting in the way. <laughs> maybe that's the issue. I'm not sure. I seem to remember in the first series, Hunter really was not much of a help. What the heck is hitting us? I'm not stopped. Cursed, uh... Kill Rathi, they're like kamikaze cats. Okay, slow down a bit, maybe we can turn around. Come on, get turned. Ship, stop this. This is the once. Ship! Now we're, we've taken so much damage, we're supposed to. We're gonna die if we don't eject. Oh my word, this is not good at all. Um, this is really bad. Alright. <laughs> I haven't even had a chance to explain all that's going on yet. Um, now, there was a capital ship I saw just briefly as we were fighting there, but apparently it jumped off, so that may have been bad. <laughs> Maybe we were supposed to blow that up quicker or something, but uh, I had a hard time with that battle. So, um, uh, yeah, let's, let's think here. First off, I'll show you the map. We've, uh, while I've been chatting, we've traveled to Nav 1. We can do some, uh, autopilots to save time next time, but... Poof! And we can also check for damage, so we've already taken some, uh, system damage, unfortunately. Intercom... Target track, that sounds bad, worse than it really is. So, uh, we'll be okay. I've still got my missiles, I was gonna use them on the capital ship, but... Apparently I'm not very good at this game. <laughs> Hopefully I pick this up quick enough. So anyway, let's do some autopilot, save some time. Whew. I mean, uh, hornets aren't very tough, so it doesn't take too much damage to bring them down, but... <laughs> Alright, so now we're getting attacked in an asteroid field. Yeah, this is uh, definitely not optimal. Um, especially considering how damaged our ship is. And the fact that I just completely missed. You know what? Have a missile. Yep. Burned one of my missiles, but we got him. Alright. If you're wondering, we have two dumb fires. And, uh, I missed it. But, almost got him. Come on. Oh. Ah, uh, yeah, we had, we had two dumb fires and one, uh, heat seeker, and apparently I wasted my heat seeker on it. Um, because it hasn't actually hit it yet. So that's great, that's great. It's possible we took enough damage, uh, that we lost one of our, uh, we weapons. It happens if you, uh, take too much damage, basically, once your armor goes and everything. Anyway, we actually killed those guys pretty soundly, so I'm feeling a little bit better after that. So now we just have to navigate the asteroid field, which is, uh, always a little bit touchy. Uh, if you're wondering, you can blow them up if you shoot them with enough, uh, lasers and stuff, but it's generally not the smartest idea. Also, if you're wondering, if, I haven't, if you haven't watched the first series, of course, um, you only really have to watch out for the one that goes straight towards you like that. Everything else on the screen is just, uh, I don't know, it's not really something you can hit, it's not a real object, so. For the most part, you just try to dodge the one that shows up directly in front of you. 
Uh, if you're playing the PC version, or I mean the old DOS version specifically, um, you have to dodge everything. But the Super Nintendo, you know, had some limitations. You don't quite, uh, you don't quite get the same dish deal. But the music's better. <laughs> if you play the DOS version, the music's very tinny. All right, let's do this again. Let's taunt something. Krant. So welcome to the next kind of ship. They are. I should also increase my speed up a little bit here. Uh, these things are a little bit more armored and better weapons, more powerful than the uh, selfie. Although they tend to not be as agile. There we go. The selfie, the first ones, are their light fighters, and they are very quick compared to most of the other enemy ships. So I actually find usually the selfie are the worst, just because they're so agile. And the Krantz here, they're, I mean, they're tougher, um, but, uh, ah, you'll see, you'll see. Come on. Um, because we've taken some damage, our power may not be uh, recovering as quickly as it used to, so I'm not able to fire quite as quickly. You can also see in the bottom right as the enemy ship takes damage. Um, you know, that's how it works. There we go, got him. Looks like I'm starting to get the hang of things a little bit better here. Try not to get blasted head on there. Maybe not run into him. I don't know what the deal was in that first skirmish where I kept running into him. Um, I have to be a little bit careful in the future. Try to figure out what's going on there. I mean, that that was my fault, sort of. I sort of could have dodged that a bit better. Speed was down to zero. I do that occasionally by accident. <laughs> Once I've stopped moving, it's not that smart. <laughs> Come on. Oh, that wasn't cool. Come on. Oh, almost got him. Almost got him. Come on, Crank. Gotta go down. They do have a lot of armor. That is for sure. But yeah, as your ship takes more damage, your shields will recover slower, your weapons will recover slower. All of that stuff. Just like normal. So this time there's a missile lock. I'm going to do a little bit of creative dodging here. Trying not to get killed. You can see the flashing lock. He doesn't have the same annoying music as the first game, which is probably for the best. All right, come on, you gotta finish this guy. Come on, Krant. Oh, I stopped again, that was dumb. Wait a second, where'd he go? We lost our target lock. Apparently he bugged out, so he ran for it. And uh, we're off to the next nav station, so we made it to two. Assumedly we defended the guy that was jumping away, so maybe the Krant uh, got out of there. We were supposed to be protecting a ship while it jumped. Hopefully it didn't die, and <laughs> that would be a great start to this uh, series <laughs> if I failed every mission. The enemy gets away in the first one and then uh, kills our ship we're supposed to defend on the second one. Alright. I am using my afterburners quite a lot. Um, so I can run out of fuel if I use too much. But uh, I find it's the best way to close with these guys is to try to boost in as quickly as you can. You can see my fuel levels on the middle right. The enemy is always so quick at turning. It's very uh, frustrating sometimes. I know a lot of the newer Wing Commander games have some, uh, well, let's just say better space sim uh, simulation. <laughs> these guys... You know, it's the first game. <laughs> 3D on a Super Nintendo, this only goes so far. Alright, come on, Kran. Let's take you out. But yeah, this is way harder than the first mission from the original Wing Commander, definitely. Alright, Kran. Let's play. I still haven't seen Hunter do very much. I think he wasted all his missiles on the first selfie. And uh, after that, I don't even think he's hit anything. I often wonder um, about the range of the weapons in this game, uh, just how many meters your laser will actually shoot. I think in, yeah, in this one, if you remember, if you watched or if you've played, the first one, um, you couldn't, uh, the, the enemies tend to hover sort of 2600 meters away, you couldn't actually hit them with any of your guns. In this one I think you actually can, which makes it, you know, easier. Of course, sometimes they still teleport away like that. <laughs> where they just suddenly jump long, long range. Now, we're getting the horrible death music because the game thinks our ship is about to blow up, which it might be about to in any second. You, you never know. <laughs> I assume my missile got me or something. I wasn't paying attention. Or, you know, Hunter ran. You never know. <laughs> I'm not giving up. We shall not eject. I'll kill them all at any cost. 
Alright, 90 high. 8,000, 7,000, get a little bit closer. And then get out of the way. Turn around, see if I can get him this time. Be, I think I gotta be really careful at this point. And ramming into him is, is not careful. Alright, slow down a little bit. Slow down completely. Speed up a little bit here. Oh, come on, almost got him, got him. Come on. Gotta take this guy out. But my uh, weapon system is recharging so slow now. This is a horrible first mission, wow. Maybe I'm not skilled enough for these anymore. There we go. Whew. Okay, so, assumedly, uh, this white dot over here will be our uh, transport we're supposed to be taking in. Let's just double check how much damage we've taken. Heavy s damage to the computer systems, mod okay, moderate to the intercom, target track destroyed. Yeah, I don't think that really does anything. A lot of these damage reports don't mean much in this version. In uh, future versions on the on the PC and so forth, um, that could cause you a lot of problems. Why am I not allowed to... Uh... It's not... I'm, I'm pressing the button to do the autopilot. Oh, there you go. That wasn't working. Anyway, we picked up our ship. We're heading back home. Whew. That was a little bit close, guys. I was, I was a little bit concerned we weren't going to make it. <laughs> Hopefully I get my act together in the future, but... Alright, Tiger's Claw. Do communications, request landing, yeah. This game has a lot less uh, control over the comm system as you had in the first one. So, it's a little bit simpler in some ways, but it's a lot harder, man. Uh, just the number of ships you have to kill in the first mission. And I think there is a, a capital ship, a, a transport ship that you can blow up if you're fast. I think we just missed it in that first nav. So yeah, we got a new uh, landing cutscene as well. I think, you know, I think I like the first one a little better, but still not bad in the first game. You know, at least you get to see us landing in the ship. The Tiger's Claw. Mission debriefing. Bad music. Doesn't sound like I did very good. 1100. Okay, so you have to launch again in a few minutes, so let's make this quick. Your report, Blue. A Lumbari class tanker was getting ready to jump out at Nav 1. I couldn't stop it, sir. Yeah, I didn't. I sucked there, sorry. For the record, you recorded. Your recorder credits you with downing 9, Blue. And Hunter came up with 2. Alright, you have 10 minutes, then get back to briefing. Dismiss! Wow. Okay, they did not give us much time for a break. Yeah, no one's around. So, anyway, I think I'll cut this episode right here. Kaza! Uh, and, uh, yeah, that'll do. You can see our, uh, our record is now one sortie with nine kills. Hunter gets plus two on his because he, he wasted all his missiles early on. And, uh, yeah, I'd consider that uh, a success, but uh, a mediocre success because we didn't actually get that tanker like we were supposed to. Oops. Anyway, hopefully I'll be better next time. So, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. And, uh, yeah, join me as we uh, hunt down the cats and uh, you know, continue our space shooter. <laughs> Have a great day, guys.